perfect. I'm about to literally just do a TV show right now. <laughs> this is great. I can tell you about my favorite Mr. Rogers quote. So Mr. Rogers has this quote, and I've always loved it. He said, if it's mentionable, it's manageable. Now, for Mr. Rogers, he was probably talking about how kids should feel they can talk through tough issues, like, uh, you know, the first day of school, or feeling sad, or the moral bankruptcy of laundering money for Russian oligarchs in pursuit yeah. of political gain. <laughs> But basically, if it's mentionable, it's manageable means talk about the hard stuff. I had no doubt that being a bedwetter in my teens was going to be my biggest secret, my greatest humiliation, my hugest shame. It made my childhood torture. And it wasn't until I got older that I just talked about it. And now I'm making money by talking about it on a TV show, oh my God, just like that fucking opportunist Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Thank you. But he was right about so many things, and he taught me that there isn't anything in the world too big to deal with as long as you're brave enough to say it out loud. Okay, so... I'm just gonna take the last thing still taboo in my life and say it right out loud to all of you, vulnerable as pie. My personal masturbation style. Okay. <laughs> First, I look up a uh, porn on my phone and uh, I set it against my glass of water on my night table <laughs> and I'm on my stomach, okay. When you see a woman masturbating in porn, she's always on her back, all sexy, like she's having the gentlest daydream. That's not how it is. That's fake news. <laughs> it's on the stomach, and it's work. It takes elbow grease. OK, so I'm on my stomach, and my glasses, I need glasses to read. And my glasses are, they're progressives, so I need to, I wear them upside down to see the porn. <laughs> <laughs> and that is when I, I started putting a electrical tape over the camera lens hole thing, because honestly, even hackers don't deserve to see this. <laughs> Now, my search words had always been, um, and first let me just say that none of these search words are things I would want to happen in real life, ever. I mean, like, at all. It's just the heart wants what it wants, a great man once said, uh, who married his daughter. But, um, <laughs> so my search words had always been gangbang, amateur, come, it's crazy that you have to ask for cum in porn. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like it would be a given? It's not. You have to ask for it. And then there's a fourth one. Um, oh, high fives. <laughs> and here's the thing. So my niece has now ruined porn for me because she's in her 20s, and that's like the age that these girls in my gangbang porn are. <laughs> And I'm calling bullshit on myself for this right now because I am acting like one of those guys who's like, I have a sister, I have a daughter, so I'm for women's rights. And women are like, even if you didn't have a sister or a daughter, you should be for women's rights just because we, like, also exist. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> no, but I'm one of those guys because it shouldn't have taken me, my niece becoming 20, for me to be put off by the sight of a girl who's probably on drugs so she can stomach nine anal sexes. Is that too sad? I know I... I thought the turn of phrase would balance it out, like nine anal sexes. It's, there's something, like, messy and adorable about it, but I may have overreached. Anyway, now, I'm sorry I'm itching my nose, but it's just natural. I had an itch there. So now I'm... <laughs> So now I'm happy to announce that I have all new search words, victimless crime search words, I really do. Okay, and they are guy fucks mattress comma verbal. Now, <laughs> this is what this is. Um, a lot of times it is just a guy fucking his mattress, like a hands-free fucking of his mattress. And that's fine, I do enjoy that. Um, <laughs> but more often it's like a guy who's fucking a pocket pussy, which is just what it sounds like. It's a disembodied vagina. And he has a, like, he's wedged 
said pocket pussy between the mattress and the box spring. <laughs> and I feel like if I had a penis, I would love this so much because it <laughs> sounds like he's fucking it. And it sounds like it feels so good. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I can't, <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not good at impressions, but it sounds so like suctiony, like, oh, and the verbal part of my search words is like just really dominant, aggressive, demeaning, dirty talk. So he's like, he's fucking the pocket pussy and he's like, yeah, you want it, you fucking whore. And it's just, it's so great because it's so vulnerable because he's by himself, you know? And um, there is not really a person there. And I don't know why, but I love it. I just, I don't even know who I am in the scenario. Like, I don't even know who I am in the fantasy of this. Like, am I the guy? Am I the pocket pussy? <laughs> I have no idea, but it just does it for me. Um, also, I don't know if pocket pussy is like a trademark, um, or but they must have a monopoly over this stuff because in all of these videos, like all eight of them, it's very niche. <laughs> um, the pocket pussies are like wrapped in or like somewhere in the frame comes with a royal blue blanket. <laughs> I don't have an explanation, it's weird. I mean, it's like the CEO of Pocket Pussy must be like, we can't send these out without a blanket. <laughs> and I don't understand the reasoning behind it. And also the Pocket Pussy has a, um, I'm noticing my own diction and I'm very, I have very good diction and that's because of my mom. But it is funny that my diction is coming out of saying Pocket Pussy. <laughs> somewhere she's like in outer space somewhere going like, thank you. <laughs> The pocket pussies have like a, um, a clitoris on it, <laughs> which I can't really figure out why. I mean, I, I can only think it's like, so you know which way is up. But <laughs> they, when they're fucking it, they'll like massage it like it's for her pleasure. Like, oh yeah, you like that? And I feel like, I feel like it forms like bad habits because they're holding like they're getting leverage from the back and there is no back in real life, it's inside of us. <laughs> that sounds so beautiful, it is inside of us. <laughs> so in summation, I would just like to say, I masturbate on my stomach with my glasses on upside down and I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm positive that's what Mr. Rogers meant by if it's mentionable, it's manageable. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>